Option one, life in prison. Option two, no life at all. This week's whole focus has been surrounding the death penalty. And today, we leave you with a presentation. Of both sides. Of both sides. For. And against. Some people feel that there is nothing wrong with the death penalty because the alternative, life without parole, is not punishment enough. This is commonly justified by the eye for an eye philosophy, meaning that should you commit a murder, you deserve to die as well. Upon the discovery of infamous terrorist Osama bin Laden, the majority of Americans had no objection to his killing. What made us willing to kill one man while not wanting to kill another? Well, one, studies have shown that it does not serve as a deterrent effect. Nobody considers that they're going to be put to death if they commit a homicide. Two, it's incredibly expensive, the whole appellate process preparing for a death penalty case. And three, it's just morally wrong. A jury can decide that the appropriate punishment is that a person be sent to prison without any chance of getting out. In fact, a great number, the majority of cases who, where there are special circumstances charged, don't face the death penalty, face the penalty of life without possibility of parole. And I feel that that is an appropriate punishment should a client be convicted. And it seems to be that the um, trend is towards abolishing the death penalty in many states. In fact, the um, Death Penalty Coalition has just received a sufficient number of signatures on petitions so that on the California ballot there will be an initiative to abolish the death penalty in California and hopefully that will pass. So what do you think? What do you think? Where do you stand? Do you even care? Well, you should. Because only we decide. We decide. This November. We decide. The fate of the accused.